Laboratories in Tanzania and Nairobi are training rats to sniff out tuberculosis. Already known for finding landmines, the rodents could now transform the way the disease is being detected. Here now is a report. These African giant pouched rats have a hero status with scientists at the Apopo Project, a Belgian non-profit organization in Tanzania, thanks to their ability to sniff out tuberculosis. Apopo is known for training rats to find landmines, but training them to detect TB was new territory when they began using the program in 2008. Now the animals work in 21 medical centers in Tanzania's capital, Dar es Salaam. The sensitivity of this rat is higher as compared to microscope, smear microscope. And as compared to other tests, their sensitivity are independent of HIV status. That is, they can easily identify tuberculosis in people living with HIV, giving in mind that these people living with HIV it's very difficult to be diagnosed by the standard tests, including gene expert in microscope. A study conducted by Apopo in 2016 compared the accuracy of the rat to that of standard methods used in laboratories such as smear microscopy, bacteria culture tests, and gen expert, a rapid test for tuberculosis. It was discovered that the rats were more accurate in finding TB positive samples in human sputum. In neighboring Kenya, a veterinary pathologist says 50% of a rat's nasal lining is covered in scent receptors, which is why they have a superior ability to detect scents compared to humans who only have 5% of that. Well, rats are mammals just like us humans, but the difference between us and rats, uh, we have less scent receptors. These are special cells within the lining of our nasal passages which uh, pick up on scents. Uh, rats tend to have 50% of the lining covered by, usually 50% covered by the scent receptors, while humans only have about 5% of the lining covered with scent receptors. So that means they have a higher ability and higher, a higher number of uh, scent receptors which pick up on the different scents around in the environment. The rats are currently used to detect 75% of TB samples in Mozambique. According to the WHO, TB claimed the lives of 1.6 million people in 2021, including 187,000 people with HIV. The disease is the 13th leading cause of death globally and the second leading infectious killer after COVID-19. Many developing countries heavily rely on old TB detection techniques that entail the use of microscopes to examine the sputum of potentially infected patients. In the hope of overcoming these challenges, the scientists at Apopo and Lancet Kenya continue their life-saving research with the help of their hero rats. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.